Our yard is sheer ice. All of this melted in the last couple of days, right? And I guess our yard is a little lower lying than some of the neighbors' yards, so the water likes to pool here a little bit. We've got to deal with that next summer yet. But then it got cold overnight. And it turned our backyard into a skating rink. Literally, you could skate. Be a little bit messy and bumpy, but careful, Chevy. Don't hurt yourself. Where'd the little guys go? Well, there's one little guy. Wiener? Has anyone seen my wiener? Have you seen my wiener? There he is. Tucked away in the corner. So today's going to be a very difficult day. For, especially for my mom and her family, but also for the rest of us as well. Uh, late last night, Grandpa passed away. And, uh, it started to hit me last night. Mom uh, was able to go there and uh, be with him for his last moments and she sent me some pictures and we were able to video chat. He was too weak to talk or even open his eyes already, but it really... That's when it really started to hit me and I sort of... realized like... You know, when someone you love passes away, it, it makes you realize how short life is. You know, he lived a full life. He was, I believe he was 88. He lived a full life and uh, he was ready to go home, be with grandma, be with the father. So we were able to say goodbye, at least through video call, which was very nice and uh, see him one last time. He looked very different and I think that was the hardest part, but he's in a better place now and he's happy and dancing around, probably listening to his favorite German hymns. As he was going, uh, they were playing his favorite German hymns for him. And he really liked that, so... I mean, a bit of a difficult day. Even these guys, you know, we love these guys so much. And their life is even shorter than ours, you know? I love the saying that says, you know, a dog will always be a big part of your life. But to the dog, you're their whole life from start to finish. I got Diesel when he was what, 10 weeks old. He's nine now, he's still doing well. Britt got uh, Wiener when he was eight weeks old and he's over 10 now. And uh, Chevy we got when he was uh, 10 weeks old as well. He's three now. And uh, Commander Frank over there, he's uh, our foster. And we don't know when he was born. We don't know how old he is. We just know he's old. And he fought in the Great Milkbone Wars. That's all he'll tell us. He's kind of closed off about his past. He's been opening up a little bit more lately. Claiming to be the commander of the Galactic Federation and stuff. He's full of stories, man. That guy. But we love him. So, I mean, our three here anyways, you know. From start to finish, their whole lives will be us here. Right, Weasel? So, for those of you who uh, are newer to the channel and haven't been following lately, uh, Grandpa had uh, contracted COVID-19. And uh, I'm not too sure what the story was, if he beat it before he passed. I believe he beat it, but it weakened his system to the point where he couldn't recover. And... Uh, other than that, I'm just going to leave it there and uh, just let it remain a, a more of a private family matter. We have a very big family, so uh, in this time they're all going to be grieving. So I don't want to make it harder by talking too much more about it today, but I wanted to fill you in because uh, there's a lot of you that have been praying and sending your thoughts to us, and I just want to appreciate that and ask that you please continue. The family's going to need some comfort.
These cookies, I'm telling you. Kimberly's Bake Shop. You guys have them? Where you're at too? They're from Superstore. They're delicious. Shh, I'm sneaking one. So, been a little bit of a rough day with everybody. Sun's gone down already. The siblings, my mom and aunts and uncles have been working on funeral plans today and uh, trying to get that all worked out. The funeral looks like it's going to be Monday, Monday evening. So that'll be final goodbye then. He'll be buried beside grandma. So in other news, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what kind of lean-to shed I want to build and I had all of these plans here on the computer and I turned the computer off and I think I just lost what I was looking at you know how hard it is to find plans because I'll need something with uh, like diagrams and written instructions because I'm not exactly a carpenter but I dabble oh no it's all still here okay good how to make outdoor garbage sheds uh, outdoor trash bins. There's a lot of spam. Like, when you go out and you try to find uh, just blueprints or, or any kind of plants, it keeps bringing you to all these spam sites and everything. It's so frustrating. Uh, but I want to build something like, like this here. I mean, I could just do a screen share, but you can look through here as well. Something that looks something like that, you know? Except this doesn't have a bottom. I want to build a subfloor. Oh, and they said it's off the ground, right? So that airflow can get underneath it. You can open it from the top and the front, but I want it to look better than this. This guy who built this, uh, the front here. Yeah, some of this it opens from the front and it opens from the top, right? Whoever built this, it doesn't even line up straight. See, I've, I'm, I've got to be able to make it line up straight. <laughs> got to build a little bit better than that. But that's, that's about what I was thinking of building for outside our house, just to put our trash bins in so that they're not just sitting out there out of the rain that way and the rain doesn't pool in the garbage cans and you know critters can't get to it as easy this would be the the, the lids so I'm sure I can put something together uh, in one of my comments uh, if I see if I can find it one of my comments today uh, one of you had a great recommendation let's see uh, go to my comments content it was on yesterday's video or was it today's let's see the comments today just looking them up here. Thank you for all the great comments. I'm, I have been reading them on my video yesterday where, uh, where Grandpa died. And it was very, it was a hard evening for me. It really hit me once I saw the pictures of him that my mom sent from in the room. And uh, I appreciate all of your support and your comments. But one of you uh, left me a comment that said which site I should go to. Let's see, how do I... Contains questions? Okay, here. Here I found it. It's called The Insane Show. It says, got into woodworking last December. Turned my garage into a shop. Have tons of power tools now. That's awesome. It's my dream. I designed all my plans in SketchUp 27, 2017, which is still free to use. Woodworking is peaceful and keeps your mind working. Always design it in a 3D CAD program first. See, that's exactly what I need. I need that program. So I'm going to Google that right now. Uh, SketchUp 2017. Let's go to Google. Because Google has all the answers, apparently. They have all the Monopoly, too, don't they? But we still use them. What is this? SketchUp? Ah, oh, SketchUp free. Look at that. Free 3D... 3D... I can't even talk today. Free... 3D modeling software, 3D design online. Well, isn't this cool? Huh? Well, thanks, The Insane Show. That is insanely helpful. See what I did there? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna look through this site here and uh, we're gonna try to come up with a plan of how to build this uh, this lean to it'll take me a little longer than the uh, average carpenter because I am not a carpenter but I will be one by the end of this one day I will be a real boy and I will be a real carpenter 
Why do they call them cookies? See at the bottom here it says, do you want to accept cookies? I always accept the cookies because I love cookies. Now I want a cookie. I already had one. I want another one. Why do they call them cookies, I wonder? Oh, what happened? Before you start, I have to agree. Yeah, I'm going to do what everyone else does and just say agree. Sure. There you go. Start modeling. Now that could be taken two ways. Maybe they're uh, looking through my camera here and saying I want a feature in a modeling career or no, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to build a, a garbage shed. No modeling for me. Start modeling. Who's that? Why doesn't she have a face? What do I do? How do I do this? Sketch up. Why is she there? Whoa, look, you can zoom out. You can zoom right in. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. Whoop. Whoop. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. I'm going to have to learn how to use this program. <laughs> is there like a tutorial or something I can take? What is this? I have no idea. So uh, for tomorrow, I want to take a little bit of a, a drive and see two more roadside attractions. I'm not going to tell you which direction we're going yet, but I think it's going to be about a four hour round trip. So I'll give you that little hint there. So tomorrow we'll be a little bit more exploring. I always like those videos the best. I like going out, doing things, uh, showing you places. I'm definitely not a carpenter. I have no idea what this means. I just need simple plans, like just something simple to follow. Do any of you know some good websites where I can just get simple like, like blueprints? For like sheds and lean-tos and stuff for free without having to go through all the spam <laughs> I mean, I could just wing it and just start building it but I just wanted something so I knew that I wasn't gonna mess it up at the end right I want it to look good I don't want it to look all redneck I want it to actually look nice I want to stain it and finish it and... all right boys you guys are staying here I'm on pickle duty because I'm going to get brick Brent, an order of pickles with a side of mama burger. Yep. She loves her pickles on her burger. She always gets extra, extra pickles. And I hate pickles. Pickles do not belong on burgers. But Brent likes to put some burger on her pickles. So she always gets lots of pickles and I always bug her about it because I think it's absolutely disgusting. But hey, whatever. We don't feel like cooking tonight. So uh, A and W it is. No, 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 Diesel. I don't need... I don't need you to come to A&W with me. I'd love to take you, but you gotta stay here. Okay? I hope he brings me back some fries. He's not gonna bring you back anything, man. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta stay here, okay? You gotta stay here, okay? Be a good boy. Be a good boy. I'll bring you back some fries, okay? Shh. Our whole yard here. I already shared you this. Shared you this. That's my English today. I shared you this. This morning, our whole yard is actually a skating rink. Sheer ice. Like... <laughs> I tried to put this ice melter on here, the pet safe. I guess it did work. Look at this. It just takes a long time. But yeah, sheer ice, man. Got a duck beneath the Christmas lights. The pickup here hasn't been used since I washed it. I don't really want to drive it because I don't want it to get dirty. <laughs> so we'll take the wife mobile. Da -na 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 -na, wife mobile! Yeah, we already got this vehicle a little bit dirty. It's doing pretty good though. For the weather we've been having, this vehicle's still pretty clean, I, I must say, but. We also have like a single file driveway, so for me to pull the pickup out, I gotta move this vehicle, move that vehicle, move this vehicle back, and then I can take that vehicle. And it's just way easier when you're really hungry to take the vehicle that's the most conveniently located at the back of the line, which just happens to be the wife mobile. Wife mobile is also much better on fuel. So tomorrow on our little excursion, you might say, our little trip tomorrow, it's gonna be probably a four hour round trip if we go through with it probably be taking this vehicle because it's so much better on fuel. I filled up my pickup for $72 the other day. This vehicle was at the same point, uh, needed the same amount of fuel, just over three quarter tank, needed to be filled up. 
and it costs $42. So there's the difference. They both last about the same distance. Oh, and a and lineup is on to the street again. Fantastic. Everybody wants a mama burger. Everybody wants a good mama burger. Look at this, eh? Right out onto the street. I'm getting a teen burger myself because I'm still a teenager at heart. I can't quite get off the road. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm just gonna go in right here past this guy. I think I'm off the road. I'm not sure. Oh, well, the guy behind me is coming in here anyways. Okay, well, here we are. Mama Burgers! I get very excited for A&W, almost as excited as I get for Timmy's, but for different reasons. I love the onion rings and root beer at A&W. I mean, you pay for it later with the stank that comes out of the rear end, you know what I'm saying? It gives you some gas. Gas that will haunt your memories for the rest of your life. It will destroy your house. But it's worth it. Because it just tastes so good. This is a long lineup. I guess you can't dine in anymore, so everyone's got to go through drive through So here we are, living the dream. So my favorite, what I get when I go to a and A teen burger combo, usually a double teen burger combo. No pickles! because that's a normal way to eat a burger. Double teen burger, no pickles, onion rings, and a root beer. That can make a man happy any day of the week. Even on a Monday. My wife, like I said before, she wants mama burgers. She wants a mama burger with extra pickles. And then we get an order of fries, and she usually doesn't finish all her fries, and she gives a few fries to the dogs. Just a, just a few, not all of them, but. drive through open. This isn't so much of a drive through as it is a just come here and sit. Come here and sit. Let's just move up just a little bit here. Maybe, just maybe, we will get our food before you waste away from hunger. So back to the shed that I'm thinking about building. Now, I'm going to build, I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it by myself. Maybe with a little bit of help, we'll see. We'll see, but I, I'll probably have to build it in dad's shop, I'm thinking, because it's uh, just warmer in there. And I'll have to build it in a way that I can drag it onto his trailer and then bring it to our yard. Oh, and then it's gotta be able to fit through our fence gate. Good thing I thought of that. So I'm gonna have to be sure, oh no, it doesn't, oh yeah, it does have to go through the fence gate. It does, yeah, because our garbage cans are inside the fence. And our fence gate is a 42 inch gate. So it's got to be 42, less than 42 inches. I'm going to have to make sure I remember that. Otherwise, I'm going to build this whole thing. I'm not even, even going to be able to get it into the yard. I wanted to build a, a, a gate on the fence that opened like this so that I could get my whole pickup into the yard. But there wasn't a way that we could do it where it would be sturdy enough. I thought it would just shake around too much being a, a chain link fence. So I like the option we went with. I mean, I think I think we'll be happy with that. But I got to remember, the shed's got to be narrow, narrower than that gate or I've got to build it in the yard in which case i have to wait till spring when it's not so cold not that i couldn't do it in the cold i could it's just when i'm trying something new i like to take my time and give myself time to make mistakes and fix them and make sure that everything's perfect and it takes me longer than it would the average person so i don't want to do that in the freezing cold it'll take all winter and freeze the nay nays off for nothing i may as well yeah we'll just make it We'll just make it narrow enough to fit through the gate. It'll be good. Then I can pull it onto Dad's trailer out of his shop, and we can pull it through the fence gate. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. You'll see. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's gonna be fun though. We're gonna vlog it. You guys can laugh at me. All you carpenters out there can laugh at me all you want, okay? But let me try on my own, okay? Let me do it on my own. Let me make all the mistakes I can so I can learn from them. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> We're gonna make it look good. We're gonna make it look good. You'll see. You'll see. You wait over there. Hey, I am driving here in my road. Victory. We've got the goods. Cause we're winners. Now I gotta get them home before they get cold. So technically we're not truly winners yet until that happens. And we get the thumbs up. I need to move over here. Excuse me, excuse me. I was unloading right here on the road. 
Oh, it smells so good in here. You guys have no idea. Try that smell vision again. Lean in. Can you smell the onion rings? Oh, look at this guy. Probably high life, right? High life? Yep. All right. Now the goal is to get it inside without slipping on the ice. Easy. Whoa, whoa. A little bit of foot action there. A little bit of foot action. Is she locked? She locked. Now we gotta get in the door. I gotta put you on my AW cup again. One second. Don't fall, everybody. Hang on. Whoa. A little bit wobbly. Oh, thank God it's unlocked. Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, boy, he brought fries. And the onion wings. Holy smokeroni. Smells delicious. Oh, boy. So how are your pickles? Oh, I'm sure they're going to be delectable. Did they give you enough? Not that doesn't really. look like a lot. I would have preferred double that. But... Usually you have pickles oozing out the sides when you when you order it. I like pickles. What? You see, if she would have come with me, she would have made me go back around and wait in line another 20 minutes to get more pickles. What? I've never done that. Literally not once. But you wouldn't let us leave the window without more pickles. You would have looked at it and you would be like, wait, 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 wait. Need more pickles. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to deny. Possibly. Yeah. Got you your pickles with a little bit of burger anyway. Thank you. It's disgusting. So I like to bug her about the extra pickles she gets on her burgers. It's not really as bad as I make it sound. She just likes to... I don't like pickles at all. I think they're gross. The crunchiness in the burger just... It's weird for me, but she likes them, so it's... <laughs> I'm just exaggerating a little bit, but... Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today as we, uh... Sort of just hung around the house and... Didn't do too much. Tomorrow's another story, though, and we're going on a little adventure tomorrow. I hope you guys tune in. Don't forget to subscribe. We do make daily vlogs here on this channel. I have a second channel where I hang out with you live as I as I stream. Uh, it's a gaming channel. If you guys want to join us there, if it's not your thing, don't worry about it. But I'll see you soon. Talk to you later.